Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 17, which is a new item type called inline choice of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got inline choice here, and we have h equals 8, and then we get to choose the operation, 3, and then choose the operation, and then 64. So it's not going to be equal over there. We already have the equal in front of the problem, h equals. All right, so... We definitely need to draw a picture to represent what's going on here. So, Gail buys some baseball cards, all right? So, we don't know what that is. So, she buys one pack of eight, all right? So, let's, let's represent this right here. All right, so she's got a pack of eight. So, we got that right there. She buys three more packs that each have 64, okay? so. Three more packs. That each have 64 cards. Each, not 64 altogether. 64 each. So Gail wants to create an equation to represent H, the total number of baseball cards she buys. Right. So we can select the operator as well. I mean... First off, we can figure out how many baseball cards she's got, because she's got 8 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64, right? So let's, let's just line them up. Let's see how many we have. So I've got 4, 8, 12, 20. And that's 18. Wow. Okay, so just an even 200. Okay. So Gail has 200, so whatever we come up with needs to equal 200, right? And so I'm thinking this first one's going to be pretty easy, right? Because look, I did 8 plus, right? Because that 8 is just going to be separate. So I'm going to put a plus right there for that first one. I think our tricky one is going to be that second one. Because look, I can't do 64 three different times, right? So I get 8 plus 3. This is what I want to do, because this is my drawing. Three, 8 plus 3 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64. Right? That's exactly what I just did. If I can do that, we're good. But we don't have that option. Okay? And then we got introduced to this new number, 3. But that is not necessarily new. It's right there, so it's 3 packs. Okay? So I've got plus, minus, multiply, and divide. That's the trick, right? Which of these operators represent what's happening? So 3 plus 64, well, that's going to give me 67. 3 minus 64, well, that's going to give me, you know, negative 61. 3 times 64, well, that might work because, look, that's three sets of 64. So that's going to be uh, 12, 192. Okay. That could work, since that is three groups of 64. And then 3 divided by 64 is getting me some really, really small decimal. All right, so I'm looking at this multiplication. Let's see if we can double-check our work. All right, so I, have, I need to write it a little bit closer, because those look kind of weird. 8 plus 3 times 64. All right. Looking at my order of operations, right, I'm going to multiply first. So 3 times 64, we just did that 192. So this simplifies to 8 plus 192. Look, that one works. All right, so the trick here, the 8 plus I don't think is that difficult, is recognizing that we needed to multiply three groups of 64 rather than just do the 64 plus 64 plus 64. That gets us our answer, two-point problem, and that's how we get full credit. 